Hello, good morning, and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office to finish up uh, Mark's case, which is a screw-retained single-tooth crown. Um, this is the, the newer technology that we're that dentists are faced with now. Um, it is a full contour zirconia screw-retained crown, which is attached to a metal um, screw-retained abutment. The abutment that we discussed earlier um, is called NT Trading, and it's, uh, I believe it's out of Germany. Uh, if you want to Google them, it's uh, www.nt-trading.com. Um, my lab uh, insists that this is technology is the way to go today, and they're very confident uh, that it is uh, very long-lasting. Um, components that we were dealing with in the past um, showed some contour issues. So I want to go over that with you uh, this morning. Um, what I asked my lab to do is to try and to, instead of scan the soft tissue, which is a rubber material, rubberized material, um, and instead uh, to go ahead and scan the hard tissue model. So we tried that and uh, with some success, but not not particularly uh, perfect. The model that was given to me has a small little window in here. And when it first came back, I had trouble trying to seat this uh, crown all the way on the solid model and checking contact. So I, I then proceeded to hollow further the uh, internal aspect of, and I'll just zoom in on this, the internal aspect of the solid model with a gold burr, a round gold burr. Slowly did that until finally we got this to, uh, finally got this to seat. Now, that pretty much dispelled any myths that, uh, you know, that we would definitely get a perfect scan um, of the model. And so, now, I did phone my lab back, and they said it's kind of difficult to scan an, a reverse uh, architecture, in other words, a negative versus the outer contour, say, of a tooth preparation or soft tissue that's convex. So anything concave, it's difficult. I didn't get a specific answer as to why, so I'm going to be talking to him about that. Um, but uh, what we did improve upon is uh, from the last time we spoke, that there was um, a, a butt joint where the metal met the seating of the zirconia pattern itself. So that was polished and, and contoured, so now that matches. Um, by the way, the platform of this metal also matches that of the Strauman uh, temporary abutment, uh, which is configured in the same way. So what we're trying to do is figure out how we can progress from the impression, which has an altered um, contour as well, uh, mimicking that of the temporary abutment. So uh, what I may end up doing is going back and finding the screw-retained metal temporary abutments and expanding on that and copying that and then using that for my transfer copings. Uh, if I lost anybody, please write in or please call me. I'll be happy to, to talk with you further about it. But it is what it is. Uh, we're going to move forward with the screw retained idea, and uh, and I'll try to film some of that if I can to show you how that goes. We were checking contacts here. That's why they're in red, and I made one slight adjustment. Uh, so hopefully this will seat nice and passively um, and, and go in. Single tooth screw retain dentistry uh, for implants. Um, trying to keep things simple and yet aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm reporting here from my Boca Raton office. And as we do with every case, we film with the direct use of the dental microscope. Um, we're also um, um, heavily involved with. Uh, mentorship programs here in Boca Raton uh, for pre-dental students that are learning um, early technology before they go on to dental school. Hope all is well out there and enjoy your your Monday uh, uh, back from wherever you were on this weekend. All right, stay blessed, take care, and we'll see you next time.